Science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics are essential to be able to learn to learn. It's super key that there are more women in technology and everybody can get this knowledge. Hey! I love this place. Where are we? It's my first time here. This was an old gas manufacturing factory that used to lead all of the neighborhoods of Barcelona. Today it's a laboratory for study of renewable energies. La Fábrica del Sol um, is uh, one of the five uh, Ateneos de Fabricació. Ateneo de Fabricació. Ateneo is such a Catalan concept. What are Ateneus de Fabricació? Basically, it's the model of the Fab Labs, open for citizens to be able to produce creative projects that have a social impact. Like you go to a library or a civic center, citizens can come together to share knowledge, tools and practices and processes. It's good to have a place so people can get closer, can have like access to digital technology and digital fabrication tools. You curate Sonar Plus, can you um, explain a little bit this um, you know, space where people can get close to creativity and technology? Sonar Plus is a conference that happens within a music festival. We focus on creativity, technology, digital culture as a whole. There are workshops, some of them there are more digital, others there are more maker related, like where people build their modular synth or they learn how to program bots. So we bring this philosophy of experiencing music and learning by doing things in other places of the world. And that is what you do at Maker Fair, super big international event. So Maker Fair Barcelona is a two day space where projects on the grassroots free software and free hardware communities can come showcase their projects from the garage to super advanced research center uh, projects. So at the same time, pretty much that Maker Fair was born here in Barcelona, um, we also conceived a STEAM conference, a conference that is covering science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics. Teachers have the opportunity to be around cutting edge technologies, debate and have a reflection of what is going on in their classrooms. I like very much the fact that at Maker Fair garage projects are shown along like super high tech science projects and they both share the same space and you're doing a lot of that at Socotech? Yes, of course. Uh, Socotech is a um, citizen-led laboratory that creates STEAM projects with uh, the neighborhoods, foundations, libraries, civic centers. The city of Barcelona has this tradition of association and cooperatives that are working with their neighborhoods to be able to create social digital inclusion projects, Collective in Raval, that are working with youth for 20 years, Soco Breakers Lab, we put digital skills in the hands of foster kids and refugees. It's uh, amazing to be able to to approach technology without any fear, like I can do this, yeah. right? We have an interdisciplinary team of mostly girls at the moment, <laughs> yes. I feel like um, I Sonar Plus is yes, a lot exactly. the same, right? We are basically girls, a mm -hmm. couple of guys, but we try to involve at Sonar Plus the, as many women as we can. But in Barcelona there are quite a few projects that empower the role of women in technology? Of course, yeah, it starts at primary school, really. We started on a project called MESH with Fundació para Manel at No Barris, funded by the Digital Social Innovation Fund to train the trainers. We are aiming to create a program that could be applied to any digital fabrication laboratory in the world to talk about technology, but with ethical standards to create projects that are more social. One of the best things about open source, open hardware, open software communities, digital culture in general, is that people can connect even more and can participate. So all these projects, all these places, all these events, mm -hmm. their point is to get people together. Everybody's welcome. Exactly, yes, that's the point, <laughs> totally.